the divergence we were talking about a few days ago has certainly played out and that signifies that we have created a massive lower low right now in the price structure chart whether that's going to carry on or not or we're going to bounce from here which is going to act as a higher low is a very very high chance as well why it exactly happened that's because the terra foundation they just bought 1.5 billion worth of bitcoin so like we can see on the chart which is the price structure chart we have broken below the trend line yet we haven't broken the price structure yet so there's still a lot to come in the markets because we have just broken the trend line that also resembles what we saw last year in the same time in may so things are kind of correlating with that dump but whether things are going to be different this year we're going to find out as time passes by because that's something time is only going to tell now we look into this chart we can see that we have broken below we also have a head and shoulders pattern that is car right now getting played out if that does played out certainly we can get to the lows of last year which was about 29 to 28 thousand dollars we would ideally don't want to have that and if we do want to make a lower low right now first we have to break below 34,333. that is the number to look out for right now and obviously they have about 1.5 billion worth of bitcoin that is a huge amount that's about 30 to 40 thousand bitcoin on today's current price the average price is around 36k that's the reason the price is just trading in that range since late yesterday so things are beginning to get kind of bearish right now people are beginning to get very worried so let's see how the bubbles are we get into bubbles bubbles certainly do look very very red right now most of the market in day time frames has just dumped pretty hard from 14 percent to 15 percent to 11 percent big numbers right there even if you go into one hour time frames we can see the market is still pretty much having a bounce but that bounce is not as significant as we would want because hardly that is up about 2.2 percent after dumping about nearly 15 to 13 percent so that's just some kind of recovery but the numbers are too small to feel any kind of bullish momentum to be coming right now if we get into our extreme fear today we are at 22 if we look into long and short ratio global data 56.49 percent people in 24 hours are in long positions in one hour it's about 56.02 percent against 43.98 percent which are in short positions so markets still in one hour time frames and 24 hour time frames looks a lot in long positions compared to short positions even though we've dumped long and short ratio block trades 50.61 percent long positions in 24 hours about 59.11 percent are in short positions in one hour in block trades and only 40.89 percent people right now are in long positions so we have a lot of confluence in the data which we're only going to find out shortly on this weekend whether things are going to get bearish for us or bullish for us right now because we are still in a range that i suggest is okay so i'm still not uh, considering it as a bullish market or a bearish market i consider this some kind of a sideways market because we're in the range that we were from january we've just been trading in that range we hardly broke above and we've hardly broken down now we are having some kind of downward movement coming into the markets but that doesn't confirm everything that we have completely gone bearish until we do make a lower low on our price structure chart so now we look into market sentiments neutral on btc neutral on eth which are the two most important coins for us funding rate has gone negative on btc we would ideally want that to come positive once we see a big upside coming into the markets on ETH still looks very very good on an idle position of 0.0100% that's what we ideally like to see now let's get into my favorite part which is gate.io startup blockchain projects discount wonder man nation is going to be starting in about one day 18 hours still got a lot of times so after that we're going to be having fresh cut diamonds which is going to be a web3 gaming content platform and community for creators and fans which is going to be starting in four days so you have enough time to get into this if you aren't a vip member it's time for you be to become a vip member you have about a day to four days to go that would be something you should aim into now we get into the new real estate I had a massive massive upside on stream coin stream coin nearly went up about easy 60,000 percent it was some kind of an insane upside even right now we are up about 42,000 percent had massive upside nearly from some cents we went up all the way to 40 cents almost half a dollar and that was some of the biggest upsides that i have seen of late and we did say when we re read its utility that it could become something massive so even now it's quite up right now though it's dumping on the one hour time frames but still sideways in the range that we would ideally want it to be 
but the massive upside you got here is only you're gonna get here so if you all want to get into coins like this all you have to do is go click in the link given in the description below join k.io use my referral id or my referral code that's gonna earn you rewards and airdrops and you can also enter gate.io startup especially if you have enough funds to become a vip member or wait for these coins to come in the newly listed either way you're gonna make some massive gains like we just saw right now next up let's get into the news because news is very very important today there's so much action going on right now that we need to certainly understand why all this is happening in the markets the first thing we have today is breaking u.s economy added 428,000 jobs in april estimated was about increase of 391,000 US unemployment rate holds at 3.6% and April estimated was about 3.5%. So seems pretty reasonable because this factor is also going to be deciding more Fed FAT, what is the Fed going to be doing in the rate hikes in the future or they're just going to increase in the middle of the pattern, anything was possible. And next up we had US dollar index rises to 104 highest in December 2002. So things are suddenly getting very, very inflationary right now in the markets and also in the real world. Next up, we have US employment rate holds steady at 3.6%. Like we can see here, forecast was about 3.5%, but it's about 3.6%. Previous was also 3.6%. So things after the hike also, and after the continuous hike, month after month, after 45 days, we are now beginning to see that things are still not stabilizing like the Fed said that the soft landing doesn't seem to be looking very possible right now. The biggest news we have to look out for is will whales hold this key support level? Data on how Bitcoin whales have been behaving during the recent markets volatility was discussed by whale map and an on-chain data firm which suggested that the previous whale inflow at 46551 were serving as an accurate resistance and a temporary mid-term top for Bitcoin's range. Which we can see in this chart let's zoom into this chart this is their accumulation phase this is where they are accumulating the bitcoin right now from the price range of 38600 to 36800 dollars and this was our old resistance this is our new resistance that was the last stop we certainly couldn't break above above 44000 dollars and 46 is now going to be becoming a very strong resistance so this is the price range right now where the whales are accumulating and playing with the retail markets so you certainly have to watch out for this one the biggest news, Luna Foundation Guard acquires additional 37863 BTC as part of reserve strategy. The acquisition totaling roughly 1.5 billion will be used to further backstops Terra's algorithmic stablecoin UST. This was one of the biggest reasons to see that dump because they had certainly put up orders at an average price of 36k. If we also look into the liquidation data, massive liquidations happen just because once the orders came into place, markets went down very, very steep and a lot of people got liquidated. So if you were taking some kind of long and short positions, I did tell you guys right now is the time to be patient and not just able the market because anything was possible. And we have certainly seen that the big next move has come across. Now we get back into the charts. What am I looking at right now? So this is something that I am certainly going to be looking at right now in the markets because this is going to be something for us to watch out for the coming period of time because this is something we have to be cautious about we certainly have to look at this so we have a bullish scenario where we're obviously going to be breaking above 44 which was our new resistance right now by the whales then we have another scenario where we can just might reclaim forty thousand dollars in that range right now we're range bound between thirty eight thousand dollars like we have seen that that's also on the whale map the bearish scenario right now in the market is going to be somewhere around thirty three thousand dollars so that is something that I'm certainly looking out. Worst case scenario from our head and shoulders pattern breaking down is going to be about $28,000. It could vary $29,000 as well because all head and shoulders pattern don't break down equally to the amount they should. So there's about 60-70% chance right there. Even if we get into 60-70% chance, that would be about $30,000 to about $29,000. So like we said, it is very, very likely we are matching the previous dump situation should we remain bullish or bearish on this so that's where i wrote every rising channel is bearish every falling channel is bullish so we were certainly in a rising channel we did we were thinking that we're gonna break above but obviously they're always a bearish sign so we have dumped below now since we have started to dump below it's gonna make a falling channel so the falling channel certainly is gonna be a bullish sign for us so we really need to watch out whether our bullish scenario here is gonna play out 
or we're going to continually to dump and play out into our bearish scenario so just have to watch out be cautious right now ideally avoid future trading right now because any side is possible especially whales are also accumulating they have a lot more information and data compared to what we would have so you're going to just do it on sentimental values while they certainly have experienced traders and experienced data analysis to get you liquidated in these markets because the retail part is something that the whales always love to have in a market like this because they want to get rid of the retail as fast as possible overall if we look into other coins as well most of the coins right now are in a dumb situation they are decreasing rapidly there's not much action going on in any coins that's the reason we suggested that luna have to get back into certain range phantom had to get back into certain range avax had to get back into certain range so lana had to get back into a very healthier range ar a lot of coins similar price structure so we ideally wanted those levels to be first achieved before we can get into any kind of bullish movements or start taking some kind of trades in that we did have a very quick trade on rune which was very profitable we hit that target and right after hitting the target we began to dump and the rest of the market also dumped now we look into dxy in the dd frames we can see the dxy it went suddenly to 104 which is a massive sign that the inflation right now in the world and in the markets is increasing rapidly so we have to be very very cautious because the fed rate is certainly pumping dxy right now i do hope we have that soft landing that they do suggest but it looks very very unlikely right now if we get into usdt in the daily time frames we are beginning to see that the dominance has increased it went all the way up to the regions of 5.07 percent even right now we are trading in the range of 5.03 percent so we have came back on the five percent in the previous data we certainly actually wicked and then began to dump below so whether we're going to watch out and see something similar planning out here as well we have to be very very watchful and continuously monitor usdt's dominance right now in the markets because like i always say once the dominance goes up markets are going to go down which we have certainly seen a week similar on the btc chart of a dump and here we see a bullish upside so if this begins to come down that will only be the sign when the market is going to pump so right now ideally i would suggest to just watch out from the market right now and hope that the market becomes very very bullish once the weekend is over because right now things are certainly making a bigger bearish picture and there's a lot of fun as well so that's all for, for today's video guys i hope you like today's video if you do smash the like button share your thoughts and subscribe to the channel take care guys i'm gonna be back in here again tomorrow with an nft show see you guys